Good morning, everybody. So what we will be doing today is the most exciting part on this wrap, and that is installing the side stripes on the Skyline R32. I was going to go ahead and do it by machine, but I'll explain in a bit why I'm not. I'm going to actually do it by hand, and I'll show you guys what I'm going to be using to do that. And I'm going to use this picture right here as a reference to how the stripes should go and where I should lay the lines down and follow body lines, etc. So with that being said, the reason I'm not doing them by machine is as you could see in the picture, it just looks completely flat, right? But we have the fender flares that stick out. So if we were to cut it out straight by machine and not add any bleed, um, it would actually lose like a couple, like an inch or two, maybe even half an inch. I don't know with the curves of the fender flares, if that makes any sense. But we're going to end up using this knifeless tape right here to install the stripes. And it's going to be crazy. It's going to be a little bit difficult, but it could be done. So I'm going to lay down the stripes with this knifeless tape and then cut them out by hand, I guess you could say. Um, I'll show you guys how this knifeless tape works later on in the video. But I'm going to go ahead and lay down the stripes. I'm going to follow the picture for reference and use body lines as reference points um, to lay down this knifeless tape. And to match the other side, I gotta measure every single point on the first side and then copy it onto the other side so that way it comes out exactly the same, completely straight. And I mean, it's not gonna be 100% perfect, but I'm gonna use this dry erase marker to mark the points on the other side of where these lines need to run through and cut through, etc. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and get this started man this thing looks insane so the next step is i need to go ahead and measure reference points on this side go ahead and mark them on the other side with the dry erase marker and lay down the knifeless tape so we're gonna go ahead and get that started now So the knifeless tape is laid down on this side of the skyline and man i gotta say this thing was a bit time consuming thanks to the homie takata for helping me lay it down i did not record that part but he did help me he lent me a hand um because i did need an extra person just to help me measure uh hold the measuring tape on one end while i mark the dots so uh, as you can see with the dry erase marker i use the blue one you can see all the dots along the way so it's pretty much like connect the dots um and then just lay the lines on top of the dots or follow the dots i guess you could say um but with this material, or I should say knifeless tape, you gotta be really careful on which direction you put the lines at. So the line that you put down first, you're gonna cut last. So on, in this certain situation, I put the lines that go across the whole car down first, and then I put the ones that go diagonal second. And the reason I did that is so I could cut the diagonal ones first, and then the last ones will be the straight ones that go across the whole skyline. And like I said, I'm gonna show you later on in this video how to use knifeless tape. But uh, yeah, now I just got to lay down the material how I did on this side and pretty much it's good to go. And here is a knifeless tape here. So pretty much what this is right here, if I could get this camera to focus, I guess you could say it's like an elastic clear tape with a string down the middle. So that string is what you pull and what cuts the actual material when you decide it's time for you to cut it. But with that being said, the car is looking amazing, man. I, I don't know what's wrong. This camera sucks, it like takes forever to focus, but here you go, the side looks crazy. Now it's time to go ahead and get to the other side.
So like I stated earlier, I was gonna show you guys how to use the knifeless tape and I already cut this section here. And just like the other side, I did the lines that go across first and the ones that go diagonal second. So I could cut the ones that are diagonal first, if that makes any sense. So here I need to cut slits on the material. That way it's easier for me to pull the string and it has an opening to go through instead of struggling to get it over the whole material. And then sometimes it won't cut if you, if you just leave it like that and try to cut without cutting the slit. So to me, this is easier to do than the other way. So I ended up cutting some material off just to make it a little bit easier. So now you just get the string with one thumb, you put your thumb over the edge of the string and you just pull it down, put your thumb over the string, you pull it down and do the same to the other side, pull the string out of the way and make sure you leave a good amount on both ends just in case one side doesn't work. Sometimes that happens, I don't know why. Um, but yeah, then you just take the remaining pieces of tape that are left over and you're essentially done. So I'm gonna continue to do this to the whole thing, get the rest of them cut out and then cut the side ones and we should be good to go. Man, this thing looks freaking insane. Just look at this thing. Um, it really did come out a lot better than I thought it was gonna come out. Ah, just the colors, just like the satin silver and then the satin blue just makes everything pop, especially with the white wheels. It just looks, it just makes it look that much better. Man, the car just looks insane. It does look a little bit off, the rear wheel's missing there, but um, everything's not completely touched up. The height isn't where it needs to be. So I still got a lot of work ahead of me, but this thing is looking amazing, a million times better than I thought. I cannot wait till this thing is done and I show you guys. So Skyline is finally completely wrapped. Now I just gotta go ahead and install um, the bolts for the body kit. I gotta go ahead and do brakes, rotors. I gotta lower the car to the perfect height. Then I gotta go ahead and get an alignment and do adjustments as I go. But I'm running out of time. I gotta hurry up and get it done. Um, I'm also gonna install something else that you guys will see in the near future. But with that being said, I got one more surprise for you guys, and I ended up getting these made from Kenneth Cole Customs. I'll put his Instagram right here. These things are freaking sick. I cannot wait to do a photo shoot with these, but uh, I just saw him on his IG, and I'm like, dang, this would be so perfect with the wrap that I'm doing on the car. So with that being said, here they are.